Hi, I'm Astronaut and Space Shuttle Commander Rick Searfoss, Execution Leadership and Teamwork, Expert Speaker and Author. And I'm here at Kennedy Space Center with a NASA T-38 in my background, as well as a simulated Space Shuttle stack, which represent something I'd like to share with you when it comes to execution. You know, when you are in a, operating in a very, very dynamic environment, like flying one of those T-38 jets, in which I have some 2,000 flying hours, or on the top of one of those space shuttle stacks on your way to orbit, you absolutely must stay focused on your objectives, you must train and prepare for those objectives, and you must do your homework and put, put the work in that's necessary to get the job accomplished. And it's all objective-centric. And I have an acronym which I use in my own mind when it comes to keeping on track with objectives. It's a very simple one, space-related, it's just STARS. It stands for specific, timelined, actionable and accounted for, realistic and sensed. So let's step through those. If you set up your objectives and, and the mission you're going after with very specific uh, goals in mind and things that you're going to accomplish, that will focus you much more clearly than if you just muddle along and say, well, we think we want to do better next week in all the areas. You have to be specific. You must put a timeline against it. We work very, very strictly on timelines in the space business because it is so dynamic and things happen so quickly. Isn't your business just as dynamic and you have to be on top of things to uh, get them accomplished? Then it must be both uh, actionable, it must be something you can do. Use lots of verbs and action words in what you set, set out to do for yourself to move your business forward. You must be accountable. You must uh, find the people who you're going to uh, put in charge of uh, whatever particular initiative or work that you're doing. Uh, it does have to be realistic. I mean, we have stretch goals and we want to push ourselves, but at the same time, we need to bound it with reality. And finally, sensed, and that's in the point of view of being something that you can measure, that you can actually determine whether you've accomplished or not. So if you focus your objectives and your work with these criteria and follow the STARS acronym, you will be much more successful in getting to orbit, metaphorically, than if you just muddle along and are happy with the status quo.